Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Giorgio Barsacci. In this video I will introduce the HDQ post-processing software for the multi-channel architecture of IDS. During this video I'm going to give you an introduction to basic features of the software like selecting data, modifying the SWOT geopath, navigating the subsurface and many else. And we also see how to do pipe recognition and export those pipe to external softwares. Hope you will enjoy the video. Okay, so let's begin. This is the first interface of the HDQ software where you can see the data collected in the field. As you can see there are five trajectories uh, of 130 meters long. Um, clicking on the geopath icon um, is possible to analyze is each GPS trace and zooming in and out, the user can access to all the single points acquired during the survey. So, for example, if I'm zooming in uh, right now, you're going to see all those points that represent the GPS acquired during the survey. Clicking on this other icon, uh, the user can have access to the GPS coordinates of every point and also to change the position of those single points as I'm doing right now. For example, just pressing Alt on your keyboard and doing some movement with your, with your mouse, you can change the points and the trajectories of the GPS track. But we are not going to do that for this mission. This feature is particularly useful in the post-processing phase in order to have a perfect positioning of the mission. There are several ways to see the SWATs acquired. For example, zooming out, I will activate the outline visualization where you can see all the SWATs that have been done over impressed one another. We can now access to the data selection menu where the user can access basically to all the radiogram acquired from each single channel, uh, do filtering, analyze single or multiple radiogram at the same time. This is the core of the of the system basically. All the information are stored based on their acquisition channels, arrays and SWOT. Um, for example, uh, I'm going to open a processed radiogram that is called a D00 uh, that was uh, filtered with uh, with uh, standard filtering. Open it. As you can see the image is really well defined. It's possible to apply uh, more filtering as well, uh, for example, calculate the velocity, uh, pick it uh, an hyperbola. Going back to the menu, we have now to select the data we want to pass to the visualizer, the interface that show uh, the tomographic view of the subsurface. Before doing it, we will have to process the data, but we will skip that part. Okay, so going straight to the uh, visualizer. This is the HDQ visualizer and there are three interfaces and it's possible to select different kind of processed data for each one. So from D00 to D02 there are different kind of, of filtering nature of this. The central figure is the tomography. In the bottom part you can see the longitudinal cut, so basically the radiogram, and in the upper right the reconstructed transversal cut in that direction that I highlighting right now. It's possible to choose several types of <clears throat> color palette and in order to better individuate discontinuities. Um, for example, black and white or uh, this other one that have different kind of red tones. Um, 
I personally like really uh, the out metal where you're going to see pipes in yellow. Okay, some details about uh, tomography. Uh, we are currently at minus 55 centimeters from the subsurface and we are seeing SWOT 2, scan number 2. Double clicking on the TOMO, the other two interface will show the longitudinal and the transversal cut of the selected point. The pipes are not hard to catch. This, for example, is a continued discontinuity that can be easily recognized as a pipe. It's a long yellow line. Double clicking on it, you can see from the bottom radar ground that those are two pipes with well marked hyperbolas in the transversal you are going to see a layer. So we can be really sure that those are two parallel pipes. As you can see, the yellow pointer is the same position in all the interfaces. This is really helpful for the pipe detection process. Zooming in and pressing control button while scrolling the mouse, and I'm going to access to deeper slays. We are now at minus 60 centimeters, and you see the double discontinuities, two lines in yellow. So we recognize the two pipes. We now want to mark the pipes, so press the pipe icon in upper bar and we will draw the pipe in the TOMO. So I'm start clicking on, on the TOMO in order to start the pipes and I'm going to uh, double click on it when I want to continue the pipe. It's possible also to draw the pipes in the longitudinal or the transversal cut as well as begin the pipe in the TOMO and then in the longitudinal cut for example. I'm double clicking right now and I'm ending my pipe in the longitudinal cut. We have now to choose the color of the pipe and put diameter or better a guess of it is difficult to estimate a pipe diameter. The depth is automatically inserted uh, by the system so it's really easy. We have now to press show target, the show target icon in order to see the pipe in, in purple. I want just now to go uh, zooming out in the TOMO and a little bit deeper just scrolling the mouse and I'm going to see a really long longitudinal pipe It's really well marked in, in yellow. Um, I want to see if uh, it is really a pipe but I'm really well sure about it so I'm going to double click on this selected point and I want to see the longitudinal cut for example. I'm going to see really a long layer so this is uh, the, the, the result that this is really a, a pipe. Clicking on another point I want just to see the transversal uh, cut for example and I'm going to see an hyperbola so 100% this is recognized as a pipe. I want to mark this pipe as well, so I'm going to hit the insert pipe button and this time I want just uh, to begin to insert the pipe from the TOMO and I want to continue inserting the pipe, for example, in the, in the longitudinal cut. This pipe is going to be really, really long, so I'm just pressing my, my button, I release it and I'm putting my target. This time I'm going to, to, to call it T2. I'm going to choose the green color and I'm going to choose maybe a bigger diameter. Just, just a guess of what the diameter can be. I'm going now to just uh, press the show target and I'm going to see my pipe also right now with the diameter that is a bit there long. There are several ways to export this result that already georeferenced said. Um, you can do a ASCII exportation or a GeoTIFF and put it into Google Earth, for example. There are also other options like inserting layer and, and many else, basically. Going back to the first interface, I can export our project to AutoCAD format, clicking on IDS GeoMap. I have now to wait some seconds in order to load um, our mission into, into this uh, file. I'm going then to open AutoCAD in order to import the HDQ project into it. On this version of 
AutoCAD, I already installed uh, the IDS software module, able to visualize a custom bar with all the options to import and modify data from the HD cube to the AutoCAD. Let me close this window and uh, I'm right now opening the project. Let's search for it. Okay. And this is it. Okay. In order to see my project, I have to uh, click on the custom bar on load from rather export on the IDS bar and then zoom on the extents on, on the AutoCAD menu like I'm doing right now. Okay, as you can see, there are uh, all the swaths acquired and the pipes detected. Uh, I'm going now to uh, navigate into orbit in, uh, in a 3D view in order to see uh, the pipes that we inserted in, in this really simple mission. Uh, obviously in CAD you can insert your project in a gereferenced map so you can be able to see structures and streets and the data that are gereferenced uh, are going to be over uh, impressed on, on the map that you have. A really important part of the uh, AutoCAD is to be able to do section um, so we can be able the pipe position before before digging. Uh, in this way we can plan exactly where we want to dig and where do we plan to install new pipes for example. Uh, I'm going right now to do the section and uh, as you can see uh, I can navigate into the section I'm going to see the green pipe and the violet pipe that I have uh, exported. We are now going to see the result of a survey done with a StreamEM uh, in CAD format. This mission is around 6 miles long, collected over a 10 lanes road. About 3 days of acquisition and a couple of weeks of post-processing in order to, to achieve this result. As you can see there are the swaths of the stream EM and all the pipes we was able to catch and export uh, with the HD cube uh, over impressed on a previous map of the, of the municipality. And basically uh, this is an example of, of a final result. So this is it. Hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for your time and your attention.